This is Surf and Turf. Electricity from tides and wind, making hydrogen to store clean energy. Home for the project is two of the Orkney Isles in northern Scotland, Edie and Mainland. In the Sea of Edie, Emek has a tidal energy site, and the islanders themselves own and run an onshore wind turbine. Both generate electric power. The grid tax them, but what it can, an electrolyzer uses to make hydrogen. How? Keep watching. Once it's produced, Surf and Turf moves the hydrogen by road and ship to Kirkwall on mainland Orkney. There, a fuel cell tax on hydrogen and makes electrical power and heat for vessels and buildings. Here's a kit to demonstrate what we do. It has the same parts, but it's much smaller and uses batteries for power. Wind turbine. Tidal turbine. Electrolyzer. That's the ED end of things. Acting like the Kirkwell site, a fuel cell and some LED lights. In between, a hydrogen store. An electrolyzer tucks in liquid water and, using the electricity, splits it into its chemical components, hydrogen and oxygen. So let's give this one some water and power it up. In the real thing, we don't need batteries, just local energy from air and sea. You can't see hydrogen, but that bubble is the gas the electrolyzer makes. It's building up in the store, held underwater. The real store is made of metal and carbon fibre and built on a trailer so we can transport it. Hydrogen is non-toxic to people and the environment. You probably made it in a school science class. This is not even a gram. On 80, we'll be making half a tonne or so per week. Let's switch the pipes around so the store can deliver hydrogen to the fuel cell. Open the tap, start the cell, electricity. Made directly by a chemical reaction, no moving parts. Not only that, it is clean, green energy produced by our community from our own natural resources. For more information, head to surfandturf.org.uk. The project is backed by the Scottish Government's Local Energy Challenge Fund and is a collaboration between Community Energy Scotland, ED Renewable Energy, the European Marine Energy Centre, Orkney Islands Council and ITM Power.